Hi, I'm Sandy Kendall, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Slides to create simple Schoology course pictures to help you and your students tell your classes apart on your Schoology course dashboard. In this Google Slides presentation I have right here, I've already created a few sample slides. And I'll just click through them so you can see briefly the types of things I came up with. I am by no means a great graphic artist, so I'm sure you will have really awesome ideas of your own. I'll include this template along with this video just in case you decide you want to at least look at these or use them as a starting point. To create one of these slides is pretty easy. What I'm going to do first is just add a new slide to my template. And instead of just clicking new slide, I'm going to go to the arrow right next to it that says new slide with layout and go ahead and click the title slide. I like this one because it's got two places already for your course name and your name. So what I like to do first is go ahead and type in the course that I'm making the slide for. And the course period is really helpful for both you and your students. And then in the subtitle area, I think that's a good place to put your name. This will help students with learning your name throughout the year, and it might be another way that they look for your course. Sometimes the subtitle is lighter than the rest of the ink, so I just like to highlight it and come up here to text color and make sure it's, it's dark black. So now I have my course name and period and my name on here. So you can put a background on your slide by simply coming up here and clicking on background on the toolbar. Or if that's not showing, you can go to the slide menu and select change background. Both will take you to the same spot. And here I can either just choose a solid color. So if that's more my style, I could choose a color and be finished. I might have to play with the font color a little to make it show up. But I want to actually do a picture, so let me undo that coloring, go back to background, and this time I'm going to do choose image. And there are many things I could do here, including uploading an existing image I might already have, or I can go to Google Images and look for something. So since this is a photography course, let's start with photography, and you might have something more specific in mind for your course. But I'm going to look through here, and you can scroll on these all day, as I'm sure many of you know. But I really like this one, the close-up of someone taking a picture. So I'm going to click on it, and then click Insert. Once it's inserted, I'm going to click Done. And now you can see that it has become the background of my slide. Now, on this one, I have a slight problem because there are many shades in the background. Black is not going to work, and I could try working with changing the font color. But what I find a lot of times, depending on the background, is this can get tricky because white might work in one area, not another. Um, also, there just might not be enough a difference between the words in the background like this a kind of gets lost so what I like to do instead if I really like a background that I have I like to put a shape behind my course title and my name and that's easy to do you can come up here to the shape tool on the toolbar or again if that's not showing you can go to insert shape takes you to the same kind of menu. I'm going to choose either a rectangle or a rounded rectangle. You could also go with an oval and I'm just going to draw it around my words. And when I let go, it covers them up. No big deal. I might stretch this a little bit more just to make sure it's larger than my words. And then with it still selected, so I still have these blue corners on it, I'm going to go to Arrange, Order, and Send to Back. 
Now it's behind my words and they are easy to see on the screen. If I need to adjust that background photo at all, it's sometimes hard to grab hold of it once it's in the back. So sometimes what you have to do is select your two text boxes and go to order, send to back. That brings my oval up more or my rounded rectangle. And if I want to adjust it a little more, I can do this. Just make sure I'm clicking it and not something else. Just watch what the handles are around. And now I will send it to the back again. And that's looking pretty good. Now if I want, I can play with my font a little bit if I don't want it to be too boring. And I can even play with my font size. Like if I think Miss Kodak is not large enough. Let's do that and maybe make it bold. And then I can increase that part. You want to make this, whatever your text you're putting on, nice and large because this is going to shrink down to the size of your Schoology photo and, and you want to make sure that you don't lose the text. You also want to keep it centered as much as possible. And now that this is ready, I am clicked on it over here in my slide thumbnails. I can go to the file menu, select download, and I'm going to select JPEG. PNG will work also. I'm going to give it a name and then save. And now it's saved on my desktop and ready to upload to Schoology, which is also easy to do. And we show you that in a different video. If you want to keep the same background for all of your classes, you can simply duplicate the slide and then just edit. You can also, for your own sake, pick different backgrounds so that when you're looking at your Schoology, you are seeing different pictures to pick for your classes. So that's a, another thing to think about whether you want to do that or not. All right. I hope that's been helpful for helping you create Schoology course pictures with Google Slides. Thank you.